Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem Lewanton, and in today's Fix of Entertainment News, Stranger Things 4 takes on iconic horror movie elements, Chaos Magic in Doctor Strange 2, and Castiel from Supernatural joins the CW's Gotham Knights. Let's drop it. Now Netflix dropped a bunch of new images for Stranger Things 4, showing us new looks of those familiar faces and some new ones. Now some of these images really give off horror movie vibes, along with visual references to other iconic films, like this scene which looks like it's straight out of the movie Fargo. And this one right here bleeds Nightmare on Elm Street, no pun intended, with Nancy Wheeler's appearance favoring that of Nancy Thompson from the Elm Street franchise. Now this scene to me really just invokes Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors vibes. And you can see the other subtle horror references throughout the images Netflix released, with series co-creator Matt Duffer confirming one specific horror movie reference while speaking with Netflix's Q magazine. Now speaking on the young cast and how they've changed, Duffer said, quote, they're not kids anymore. They really are full-blown teenagers. That's why this season we leaned more into horror. We figured they should be in their own version of a Nightmare on Elm Street, basically. So if a Demogorgon shows up wearing like a striped sweater, a fedora, and, and a bladed glove, don't be too surprised. It was all a part of the plan. Yeah, now aside from horror movies, the writers of Stranger Things 4 are taking inspiration from a variety of other movie genres. From a goofy movie to Thor Ragnarok, there's hundreds of movies the writers have taken inspiration from to bring us this upcoming season. Now, according to Screen Rant, approximately 251 so far. It's nuts. I don't know how they did this, but Screen Rant managed to make out the scribbles the writers made on this whiteboard back in 2020, teasing the DNA season four will be comprised of. Now, they even got Toy Story 4 on that list. That's freaking crazy, that's nuts. But you know what, I guess if this is in fact, you know, the, the second to last season of the popular series, you know, you might as well throw everything you have at the wall and build up hype for the next and final season. Now, we'll have to see what's up with Stranger Things 4 when it drops on Netflix May 27th. Now, even more Stranger Things lie ahead as we take a look at the Doctor Strange 2 promo clip that was recently released, where we see Scarlet Witch using what is known as Chaos Magic. Now, for those not familiar, Chaos Magic is a is magic so powerful that even the Sorcerer Supreme doesn't believe it exists. Well, the Cinemark promo clip contains this new footage, giving us a small glimpse of what we can expect from the Scarlet Witch's involvement in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, Chaos Magic can pretty much, you know, manipulate and reconstruct the fabric of existence to the user's whims, potentially causing complete destruction to the cosmos. Now, we've seen Wanda build her very own reality in WandaVision, so it'll be interesting to see what selfless or selfish acts she's up to when the Multiverse of Madness hits theaters on May 6th. And finally, everyone's favorite trench coat wearing angel, Castiel, is coming to Gotham City. Actor Misha Collins will be playing Harvey Dent in the CW's Gotham Knights. Now, according to The Hollywood Reporter, the former Supernatural star has been signed on to play the Gotham District Attorney in the network's pilot for the series. Now, the CW series isn't based on the upcoming game of the same name, but will feature and star DC Comics characters created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger. Should be pretty interesting, to say the least. And that about does it for your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson. Thank you so much for watching. Now that you're all caught up on today's news, please go check out our previous video where I'm talking about Netflix's live action version of, of Resident Evil. They're, they're doing that. That don't know why, but they're doing it again. It's a series now, whatever. Download the IGN app on all your devices. And for everything else, keep it locked right here on IGN.